All right, gang, welcome back to Hanson Speech. Uh, we're working on our Project 66 Schwinn Stingray. Um, and today we're gonna be taking this 28 spoke S2 Schwinn wheel and converting it to a super cool mag wheel. So essentially the first step that we're gonna have to do is take all these spokes off um, and they're pretty, pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna try to save them. And I already tried to loosen up a couple and they seem to be going pretty good. So that should be good. Uh, basically all you need to do is just loosen up this knob here with like a flathead screwdriver. And you could, if they're really tight, you can like hold this with the pliers and loosen them up. Uh, pretty simple, but basically we're gonna need this hub, our whole hub here and the rim. And then um, once I get all the spokes off, we'll kind of go from there. All right, gang, so we got the whole wheel all torn apart. Um, here's our old spokes and the little nipples. We'll save that for some other project down the road. And this is all the hardware that comes with this, this kit. Um, here is our hub. I still have to clean this up now to get the spokes off of the sprocket side i had to loosen this up so we could pull the sprocket out to get clearance um to get the spokes out but that's okay because i'm going to go in here and clean this all up and, and re-grease it um but what we also have to do is um, pound one of these um flanges off which we're just going to set it in a vise and, and hit it and these just pop off and then we have to align these um perfectly so that all the holes are aligned perfectly so that like if you stick a spoke through you know all the holes will be lined up so that's what we have to do to the hub then it comes with this center ring here that um, we need to bolt to the wheel, I, I believe, using these little screws. Um, and then we got it lined up perfectly so that we'll have clearance for our valve stem. So I'm going to get this part bolted in. I kind of polished the rim up slightly. Um, we'll get this part bolted in. And here is our mag size. There's two of those. And those will bolt to these little tabs here. Um, but first we got to get... Get this bolted on and then tackle that hub and get that aligned, cleaned and greased and everything. And then we can go. From okay, guys, so I don't have this bolted in tight yet, but I just have everything loose. Um, when you put this part on, I would recommend starting on one end and then going all the way around. And that'll help pull everything and get it, get it all lined up. And we did use the, um, the medium size screws. Um, I think these are for the the uh, side plates, and I'm not sure what these ones are for yet. Um, and we only had one hole that wasn't lining up really good. It was this one right here. So I just took a drill bit and just kind of wallered the hole out a little bit bigger. And um, everything fit good. So then we just use these little lock um, nuts on the back side here. Now, one thing I am concerned about is these are going to be sticking up pretty high. So I'm really going to have to wrap this like, you know, with some electrician tape then and maybe a couple rim strips so that we don't poke through our inner tube. Um, but uh, everything's going along pretty good. Um, and then uh, once I get this all tightened up, we're going to tackle our hub over here and make sure these are all the flanges are aligned get everything cleaned and greased and then we can basically um get our side plates bolted on i think this these little screws here go through our hub to the um side plates and then the, the long screws here go from the side plates to these flanges so that's where we're at and uh, we'll take another look once i make some more progress all right, gang, so I decided to go ahead and polish um, the center section of the wheel, which if you've ever polished anything, it is a lot of work. So the one on the right here is the one that I polished. This is what it looks like when you order one of these kits. It's, uh, I think it's just like stainless steel. 
um, and it's just kind of dull and has some scratches and stuff in it. So I didn't do like a super pro level polish on here, but it's definitely um, a lot, lot better looking um, than what you get to start with. And it does have, you know, a little bit of reflection in it. I do got to clean it up a little bit yet, um, but it's definitely a lot better. Um, so it doesn't need to be perfect because the bite's not like perfect, perfect. Um, but I did want it a little bit shinier than just that. I think if I would have just put it together, you know, leaving it like that, it would have looked kind of crappy. Um, so I'll finish cleaning this one up and then we got to do this one and then now uh, we can start putting it back putting it together all right gang so we got the wheel all done put together this definitely um is quite a bit of work like if you ever get one of these or you're gonna do it basically kind of especially if you plan on like polishing this um plan on basically like a whole day worth of work and um also another thing is i i screwed up um, I had the nuts on the, the inside of the rim. They're supposed to be the, the screw end. So I had to switch all them out. It looked aesthetically better having the, the screw end here, but it just didn't make sense having the nut in here. So I reread the directions and they're kind of unclear. It's kind of hard to understand. Swapped them out, got our hub all greased up. And the thing's all done. Looks really good. So we'll get our tire on here next time. And then uh, we'll finish kind of accessorizing the bike. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Until next time, get out work on your own projects. Get those hands dirty and greasy. Stay cool. And we'll catch you cats on the next one. Thanks for watching.